Only fitting that three-time world champion Jose Antonio Rivera and his son AJ bring professional boxing back to Worcester after a more than five-year layoff. El Gallo made his name here in the city, and now he's trying to help younger fighters make their name as well. New England's future is the name of this event, and it brought professional boxing back to the Palladium. So, the Palladium we go. There is a big crowd on hand. Rivera Promotions bringing New England's future, and they start with Chuck Shurns in his retirement bout. You saw him earlier. He was hearing from Fitzy, the Irish Express, and he's with Chavante Dixon landing a combo, one, two, staggering Dixon, and then digging to the body early in the first. Stir Shurns then landing another power shot later in the round. Dixon really didn't want to have anything to do with it. A few shots Chuck did take, but Dixon's corner eventually throwing in the towel. A stoppage. Chuck Shearns wins his final fight. He finishes his career with a 3-1 and one record. Wilfredo Pagan out of Southbridge in a pro debut, taking on a very tough Alexander Pico and El Sucaro, closing out the first round with an Olympic drill-like flurry. Pagan looking strong. Round three now, Pagan again grabbing points with a late flurry, impressing the judges and landing combos on the very tough fighter out of Puerto Rico. Round four, Pagan with co more combos. Drives Pico into the ropes. The Southbridge guy, El Sucaro, wins a majority decision tonight. That was a great fight on the undercard. The fight's still going on. Irvin Gonzalez, undefeated, is the main event tonight. We hope to have highlights for you of that on Friday. Holy name in Shepherd Hill and Girl Soup. This is a top five showdown. Tonight, first quarter, Rams are up four. Marriott O'Sullivan hits a three, the Naps within one. Then it's Michaela Norton hooping harm for Shepherd Hill. They're starting to get hot. Logan Lornell for the holy name with a three. The Naps are up by two. There's Janie Edmonds from beyond the arc. Silky smooth, the Naps are up three. Shepherd Hills, Morgan O'Malley with a three of her own to tie the game. Sophia Massarelli for holy name. She had 15 points to lead the Napoleons tonight. And here's two more. Soft touch off glass. Shepherd Hill then. Bailey Savage. Straightaway triple. Bottom of the barrel. Rams are up by one. Savage from beyond the arc as the seconds expire in the first quarter. The Rams are up six. Savage had 14 points. Second quarter. Holy name shut off the mark. Juliet Gordon there. A golden there for the putback. Naps are down two. Bailey Savage having a day. Two more there. Shepherd Hill gets the win on the road, 58 to 47. The always dapper Brian Morse leading Abby Kelly against South tonight. First quarter of the Bears shot just off the mark. Kayla Cupstis, the offensive rebound and put back for two. South then, Layla Vega, Colin Glass, three pointer. Colonels have a one point lead. Abby Kelly's Andrea Bohang with the runner. Put the Bears back on top. South going inside. Lily made an impressive work in the paint, finishing the break there. And Morgan Johnson, their point guard, knows how to find her. Johnson, great feed to Mayday for the score. South starting to build the lead. Same combo. Johnson and Mayday for another hoop. South's up by five. Colonels. Alexa Diaz, the runner. They were up 11 going into the second quarter. Queen Lee Burko hooping hard for Abby Kelly. She had 19 points. Bev 2-4 had 11. And the Bears come from behind to win it. 56-50 in overtime. Big win for Abby Kelly. All right. Holy Cross men's ice hockey team getting ready for Mercyhurst. Already a power. Mercyhurst's bus is down on Highland Street. So the boys are enjoying a good time there tonight as they get ready for the Crusaders. Now it's a weeks long effort for Holy Cross as they get ready for their weekend opponent, especially a league opponent. They're working on special teams and David Berard telling us just what they do as they get ready for a tough opponent like Mercyhurst. Typically we'll work at, at least two days a week on penalty kill and power play. Uh, usually Mondays and Tuesdays we'll work on penalty kill. We'll have a penalty kill me meeting where we'll go over the scouting report for Mercyhurst. And then on Wednesday and Thursday we'll work on the power play. And usually it's, it's rehearsing 
we worry about ourselves on the power play. Obviously, we try to see what they're going to try to do to take things away from us, but we're more concerned about ourselves on the power play. Penalty kill, you got to be a little bit more concerned about their setup and what they're trying to run and take that away. So we put a lot of time and effort, and it's a big part of our game. We want to be great on specialty teams and win the special teams battle. So we spend a lot of time doing it, and so far, so good. All right, Holy Cross taking on Mercyhurst. We have the game for you, the first of two. We have it for you on Cheddar TV 3, Friday night live, beginning at 7 o'clock. Irvin Gonzalez going off in the main event in boxing tonight. Cam Jandro pulling double duty news, and now he's down at the Palladium to get us highlights for sports tomorrow at 6. That was quite a win for Chuck Shearns. What a great way to yeah, end your career. Yeah, how about that? He looked good, really fought hard, so yes. good win for him. Well, congratulations for Andy Lacombe. I'm Catherine Andrioli. Thanks for watching Worcester News tonight. See you back here tomorrow at 6. Good night.